I'm gonna give you three names, three co-stars you've worked with. I want you to choose one to marry, one to shag, and one to kill, okay? Oh. It's a game, marry, shag, kill. Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Robert Redford. You marry one, you shag one, you kill one. Uh, Redford, marry, maybe. Okay. okay. Mm, yeah, okay. And um, uh, uh, Jack Shag. Okay. And um, Dustin Ixnay. Dustin. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, Meryl Streep, you've been nominated for 17 Academy Awards. Which one were you actually surprised when you were there? Wow, I'm actually surprised that I didn't take that one. Oh, didn't? Yes. None, none. None. No. I mean, I was, you, you're really surprised when you get it. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very good. Meryl yeah. Streep, name one bad film that you have made. Uh, Still of the Night. <laughs> what was that about? Never mind. <laughs> Meryl Streep did not plead the fifth, everybody. So, Tiffany, I'm going to run through some potential changes you'll make this year. And if you, and you'll tell us if you'd try them in a round of, is hey, Tiffany hey, ready? Hey. Okay, Let's Tiffany, see. are you ready to drink less alcohol and drink more water? Well, I drink a lot of water, but she not ready. Okay. Are you ready to try intermittent fasting? She ready. Uh, are you ready to experiment more in the bedroom? Well, see, I've done all these things, okay. but not all of them. Are, she not ready. <laughs> are, are you ready to reveal who bit Beyonce? She not ready. Are you ready to ignore any Twitter troll that comes for you in 2020? She not ready. <laughs> are you ready to start filming Girls Trip 2? She is so effing ready. Are you ready to overcome your aversion to acting in scary movies? She not ready. Thank you very much, <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Hello, what was Prince William's reaction when you drunkenly asked him to be your child's godfather? And have you seen him since? Did you dr you drunkenly ask Prince William to be the yeah, child's possibly. godmother? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was his reaction? I wasn't that drunk. Oh, okay. Enough drunk for, for yes. not to drink anymore. But, um, <laughs> he was just, he was very, he, he, he wasn't totally sober himself. <laughs> right, okay, that's good. Um, not in a bad way, it was just very, right. very jolly and very... Thing is, my, I'd spent all my friends as godparents on my first child. So Billy had 11 godparents. And so I thought I could make up for Nell, you know, who suddenly came along and I, we didn't have any left. I thought, well, if I go for Prince William, that would cover, you know. Yes. No. Yeah. yeah. He just said, you don't want me to be godfather to your child. <laughs> and I left them. I mean, obviously it didn't. We, we didn't. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Yeah, no. It really no, it didn't. didn't, funny enough. Let's go to Jamie. Hey, Gee, so what did Charlize up. say is the one thing you do that really annoys her? Oh. Something <laughs> you <laughs> that annoys your daughter. Cold. When we're in the car. She doesn't know. Let's reveal. She talks too loud on the phone. Oh. Oh. Always with the phone. This is a surprise right. to me. <laughs> Sandy, a terrible way to find out. Sandy, oh, what did Seth say is the one thing you do that really annoys him? I talk to strangers and say, say nope. things I shouldn't say. That's okay. kind of along those lines. She is yeah. not nice to waiters. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> But so obligatory. Every time it's like you want an award. You're like, I said thank you, Seth. Did you see? Uh, I said thank you. Gee. Uh, what? Thank you. I okay. said thank you. Aside so from you. weed, what other drugs did Charlize oh admit to trying? All of them. All of them. Charlize, Pretty please close. reveal. Molly acid mushrooms and cocaine. Oh, by the way, that was a long time ago, and yes. I don't do that anymore. Yes, very long time ago. Yes. 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 You might need to sign this yes, one. Yes, I will sign this one. Okay. Sandy, last question. When Seth was a teenager, what did he do when he skipped yes. school? For the record, me too. For the yes. <laughs> what did he do when he skipped school? 
Uh, he went to the ravine and smoked weed. Uh, sometimes, but I had it. We would smoke weed at my friend's grandma's house and ride the electronic thing <laughs> up and down the stairs. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks for playing. I'm gonna run through some famous people. If you've met them, just describe the moment for us. Have either of you met a member of the royal family? I have to, yes. Have you met the queen? Yes. Yes, you have yes. too. Yes. Have you met, I did you shocking. meet uh, Princess <laughs> Diana ever? No, I never did. No. What is the queen like from your recollection? Well, can I boast and say I've met her a few times? I'm sure you have. And, yes. uh, and I've sung for her many times. Yeah. And I'm a huge royal fan. I yes. really am. She works so damn hard. Yeah. She Do really you, does. Did you get nervous when you sang for the queen? Not then, no. Not I then. mean, I was like 12 years old when right. I first. You were a kid when I was a kid that. when yes. I first oh, sang for girl. Yeah, there's yeah. Vis there's video. The older you get, the more nervous you get. Right. But then I. Have either of you met Alfred Hitchcock? Yes. Yes, you worked with Alfred Hitchcock. I did. And you liked him. Yes. He was. Was he playful? Yes. Intimidating? Yes. Yes. Have either of you met a president? Yeah. Many. Yes. yes. Several. Yes. Several. Have you been to Two. a. Two. <laughs> Two. Um, Obama Ooh, and Clinton. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Have either of you been to a state dinner? Yes. No. Yeah, you have. Yeah. With what or who? What doing that? Well, I was. <laughs> That's what I said to Clinton when he yeah. invited me. I, it was uh, for the Queen of Spain. For the wow. Queen of Spain. Okay, yeah. have either of you met Walt Disney? Yes, you have. I have. What kind of guy was he? Kind of, very kind. Very twinkly in personality. Kindly, lovely guy. Uh, smart as a whip. Um, was in the studio before anybody else was in the morning. Wow. Good guy. Cher, who would you kill, marry, Shag? The choices are Jack Nicholson, Nicholas Cage, and Dennis Quaid. Okay, so you have to kill one, marry oh, yeah. one, and, and shag one. The choices are Nicholson, Quaid, and uh, and Cage. But I've worked with all of them, and I like yes. all of them. I love them. Who would you marry of that group? Well, Nikki's crazy. Okay, so you wouldn't marry him. <laughs> and Johnny's crazy, and. Maybe. Dennis was crazy, <laughs> but I think I would take Dennis or Johnny. I would take probably Dennis. Okay, who would you shag? Nicholson? I mean, in his prime? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to, wait, I have to tell you, there were stories, there are stories about Johnny, and I actually think that he probably would be very, very good. Right, oh, I'm sure, yeah. Lots yeah. of women and lots of... Psh, 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 Really? Great. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, so maybe Cage. Maybe Cage. Oh, goes. but I wouldn't know that. Yeah. No, no. no, I mean, well, it's the game. No. <laughs> um. My question is for Martha. What do you think of the news that Gwyneth Paltrow is selling a candle called This Smells Like My Vagina at Goop? <laughs> and that it is smells like Martha what? Out. No. My oh, vagina. Oh, and so that she has a candle it's that's not a called Smells Like My Vagina, and it's well, you know, sold she, out. I'm sure it's sold out. I mean, she, she does um, that kind of irritating, Re, you know, she she's trying to she's trying to zhuzh up the public to listen to her. Okay. And that's great. I mean, let her do her thing. Okay. And um and I I, I wouldn't buy that candle. Right. <laughs> you so to be clear, you don't want a candle that smells like Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> what does it say about America that they that the candle is now sold out? I think it's not America. I think it's a lot of guys who are horny. Okay, <laughs> horny guys are buying that candle. In your first episode, there was a sketch about a bad bitch support group. Who do you think is the baddest bitch in Hollywood now? Who's the oh, baddest oh, bitch oh. in Hollywood? It's super easy because she's in the sketch, and Angela Bassett is and will always be. Ah. Actually, always. she was on the show last Thursday, she and she mentioned being in the, She is Unbelievable. There's it's unreal. no one else that could have led a bad big Correct. group Correct. like she could. And yep. that's why that's probably why she said yes, because she was like, you guys Duh, can't find anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll do you this favor. It's true. Um, Amber L Facebooked, Isa, I love your character. I can relate to your awkward black girl moments. Do you still have them? And what was one of your awkward moments while filming Insecure? Uh, of course, I will have them till the day I die, unfortunately. <laughs> um, one of my awkward moments filming, insecure. I mean, sex scenes are always awkward. Um, it's just, 
you, you'll never get used to them. Especially, you know, we have some very attractive men on the show. Yes, and you do. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and you knows. Do. So, you know, it's um it's challenging. And you have you have a great hand in casting those men, don't I you? I do have a great hand in casting based on talent and you yes. don't know what you're getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, like, we're acting like Issa doesn't write on her own show. Yes, like she's exactly. writing these sex scenes. Yeah, right. Come on. Issa's like, oh man, I have two sex scenes yeah, this like, episode. Oh, yeah. So oh. embarrassing. God that I got more oh, sex scenes. Oh. I'm flipping through the thing. Oh, no. oh, no. To show my perfect body. Oh, right. God. Yeah. Girl, so All right. Bye. Tonight, I want to pay homage to a few of my favorites. It's time for our first annual That's the Wig It Is drag pageant. Oh, my God. Look at that me. It is Fifi O'Hara serving Where Does My Heart Beat Now, Celine. I love it. This is an early Celine look. I, yes. Fifi O'Hara, everyone. Drama, drama. Drama. Thank you, Fifi. Drama! Thank you! Oh, she dropped the heart of the ocean. She dropped it on the Oh my god, it's Milk as Oscar Celine! Oh my god, this is incredible! This is amazing! Milk giving us Oscar Celine! That's awesome! Incredible! Thank you so much! Wow! First of all, I really appreciate that 58 microphone because it's one of my favorites. Okay. It's 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 amazing. Okay. That's, that that was a good start. Awesome. Very good. And also, this. Oh, I had to. You had to, and it was passionate. Yes. Because when you go for it, you, go. you have to hear the. Oh. Wow. Is that the key? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have to say that coming like there was no tomorrow, like this, <laughs> and go and swing the heart of the ocean like there's no tomorrow. Yes. There was a bit of a difference over here. <laughs> and I was. <laughs> work, 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 work. Yes! Work, work, work. <laughs> I honestly have to say that it was such a an important moment in my career to have the guts to say, okay, I'm going to wear pants on a red carpet, and I'm going to wear a jacket the other way around, and people will say I'm a lunatic, totally. I think I needed a lot of balls. balls. Yes. Thank you. A lot of balls to do so. So remembering all these, the three of you did amazing, but I have to pick one, yes. so I'm going to have to go with no. Milk! Congratulations, Milk! You are the winner!